Hello, hello, and welcome back to CORE! I, I don't really remember what was happening, or how I voiced any of the characters, which is lovely. Because uh, after recording the first part, I got sick. I still kind of am, but who cares? <laughs> I have to start recording so I, uh, y you know, so there's still content on the channel, so. I can mostly talk again, that's, that's the important part. As long as I keep my throat hydrated, but... You know how it is. <clears throat> I smile back at him before letting his hand go, leaning my head up to the rest against the window, looking out to the countryside passing by. Ed moved from his seat to settle down beside me, resting his head on my shoulder. That's kind of gay. Uh, the passing hills make me feel drowsy, and I soon close my eyes, the world around me fading away as a melancholic uh, chiming sound plays in my head. Okay, sure. Hmm. Oh, whoops, I think I have my heater on. I'll turn that off. <laughs> I'll just freeze that. Do I have to click a button? I do. Okay. <clears throat> oh, Jesus. Where does this take place? I know they said, but I'm also like, what? <laughs> okay, that's fine. That's fine. After a while, I wake up to the view of a clear, clear ocean beach in the distance. We're home. We're at core. I go wake up Ed, but he's all, but he's still uh, asleep on my shoulder. So I decide to let him relax. I probably, it's probably been a while since he's actually had a decent sleep. Ed worked so hard to set up this trip. Now that we're here, I hope he feels like it will be worth it. He wakes up a few minutes later, nudging my shoulder at his e <clears throat> shoulder, shoulder. Damn it! I don't know how to pronounce things. As he does, good timing too. I can already see the station from here. Uh, damn! I needed that pillow. Uh, needed that pillow more than I thought I did. Oh, and um. Uh, sorry, but you're a nice pillow. <clears throat> Since when do you apologize for that? Uh, that's new. He pokes his tongue out at me and moves uh, away slightly. It's still keeping fairly close by, but there's enough room for me to stretch my arms out. He smiles at me, only to let uh, let out a yawn in the process. <laughs> Ed and I all uh, have always been close. We've been <clears throat> we've been friends since we were in diapers. <clears throat> Sorry, I still have a still a little bit congested. You know how it is. Uh, <laughs> which means we're almost inseparable at this point, and I really haven't had I wouldn't have had it any other way. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, what are you? Uh, are we there? Or <laughs> are we already there? He peers out the window and almost jumps with excitement. Ha, yes! This is it, Rob! Are you ready? I smile back at him with a nod, enjoying the side of Ed, the side that's almost like a kid again. It helps me bring back... helps me... helps bring me back to reality sometimes. Yeah, I am. The train starts to slow down as I reach up to grab... Yeah, to grab two bags full of clothes, chargers, uh, basic health supplies, and, of course, my own little secret, a pair of headphones. <laughs> That's, uh, they don't really work anymore. Uh, something about the cable snapping, I guess. But they help soothe me in tough situations. It helps me isolate for a bit, keep me cal uh, keep calm. I look over to Ed uh, to see that Ed's having a hard time with his bags. Hey, uh, Ed, do you need any help? Nah, I'm... <laughs> okay, okay, sir. Uh, Ed nearly toppled over himself, uh, using the seat in front of him as support as, he's, uh, as his luggage falls to the floor. He sighs and admits defeat, his shoulders drooping as he does so. Then, he tries to fit everything again, to lift everything again, this time dropping a bag on the floor after a few seconds and pouts. All right, uh, can I help now? Yes. I chuckle and reach for the bag that he dropped, and my in what in intention is to carry it. Okay. 
<laughs> but I simply can't. Uh, grabbing it with both my hands, I put more of my uh, body into it, lifting it off the ground and onto my back. What the fuck is in here? Uh, well, uh, comic books, cooler, what? A camera, some toilet paper? Wait, no, uh, that's this in the other bag. I think I may have put a kite in there. You can't be serious. As much as I love Ed, sometimes he can be a bit, too, a little bit too intense. I think the worst part about it was when he was, uh, is that he still has two more bags, probably as heavy as this one. Okay, so maybe the kite was a lie. But I packed for the worst, and by that I mean boredom. Yeah, uh, you'll all be thanking me once we unravel my board game. Of my board game backpack. Extravaganza! I'm glad you're ready for this, but uh, what uh, uh, what was that about you having a, st a statue? He just smiles innocently and doesn't answer. With some difficulty, we start to head out, with uh, Ed leading, uh, leading in front of me. As soon as we pass by the other seats, uh, already empty, they must have left already. Wow, just left without you guys? What great friends. I keep following Ed to the exit door of the train and step out onto the station platform. Immediately, the wind feels incredibly he noticeably heavy, but it's a nice change compared to the musty stale air from inside the train. The sound of chirping in the trees and the unmistakable smell of the ocean brings me back to the past. I look around the station, awestruck for a moment. We really are home, aren't we? Yeah, we are. Uh, kind of weird, huh? I never thought I'd be back. Me either. It's kind of incredible, honestly. We enjoy this moment for ourselves before seeing um, Faust, Mike, and Hector in the distance. Uh, Mike is uh, seemingly uh, vibrating in place, uh, waiting for us as if he was going to start running around at any second. Uh, Hector looks like he's trying to check something on his phone, and uh, Faust is checking his bags. <clears throat> a few more, a few more people legs at the train after us. Uh, then the doors close, and and it sits there, and not having to leave for another thirty minutes uh, for the train station. For yeah, for the train schedule. There are already people here, though, looking anxious to get going. Despite not being back here in ten years, it still looks the same. Almost as if I never left. As we're about to reach the, the, the others, I noticed Ed looking around a lot. He seems to be searching for something, as if he's expecting something to happen. Ed, you doing okay there, man? Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. It... <coughs> oh god, excuse me. It's just been a while is all. Yeah, it's uh, Ed's been acting pretty weird since we got on the train. I figured he'd he'd like to speak about yeah speak about core during the, during our way here, but he spent most of the time reading instead. And honestly, feels like he's up to something. But I decide to shrug it off for the moment. The best place for this discussion isn't in a public area. Plus, this bag is starting to wear me out, uh, along with my other stuff. We'll give it to Faust. He's a big lad, or Mike. <laughs> Mike walks up and helps me with the bag. What a good lad uh, I've been struggling with. He doesn't drop it uh, like Ed or I did, but I can tell he's surprised by how heavy it is. Whoa! Rob, what did you shove in here? Uh, I don't really think the uh, beach allows bowling balls, bud. Uh, actually, that's my stuff. Uh, sorry. But it's filled with a bunch of supplies that keep us busy th these next few days. Ed, uh, when I, uh, uh... When I, uh, wait. When I told you to pack enough stuff for yourself, I didn't mean three bags of your size. Well, I mean, it's just the, uh... It's just the board games and stuff. You know, uh, just activity things. I even brought a camera! Uh, a camera? Uh, can I use it? Sure. I actually have no clue how to use it, so it's all yours, Faust. One condition, though. I I give it to you uh, when we get to the beach. 
a beach house, okay? I think I'm, like, voicing him a little too high-pitched. I don't know. I don't know. I haven't decided. Maybe Hector should sound more like that. <laughs> Though I have kind of, like, combined their voices, haven't I? Uh, otherwise, uh, otherwise uh, we're gonna... Um, we're gonna have to uh, look through the uh, a lot of board games before uh, getting what we want. Uh, sounds great. I really want to take pictures of this place. I never knew you liked photography, Faust. Uh, really? Uh, he's incredible. Uh, the photos he's taken are great. Uh, take a look at my screensaver. It's actually one of his. One of them. Hector shows me a, fo a picture of the sunset over a mountain on his phone. Uh, there are very few clouds, and some of the stars are even visible. It's honestly incredible. What? Wh when did you uh, put that photo there? Hmm. I think it was last August. It's funny. You look over my shoulder so much that I'm surprised you didn't notice it till now. Faust looks a little embarrassed, uh, the red showing through his green scales. I can't believe you didn't tell me this uh, before. It's fantastic. Uh, how come you aren't a pro at this yet? Because careers are hard to find, Robert. <laughs> uh, Faust then uh, starts to walk away. Not angry, but flustered. He always does this. It's like the uh, it's like a flight reaction. Yeah, a flight reaction for whenever he's too embarrassed. And then, uh, then as Faust walks away, someone gets my attention. Someone across the station walking towards us. He has a tattoo on his arm and, a, and tail, and his hair looks different, but he looks familiar. It's almost uncanny how close he looks to... Gus? Oh fuck, it's Gus! Oh my god, this boy's alive! I don't know why my initial reaction was like, this character's dead. <laughs> Maybe the, um... Maybe the, uh, the, the echo brain rod is real. <clears throat> know what I mean? What is this lad? Is he an otter? With that tail. Okay. As he gets closer, I'm more uh, sure of it. Uh, dropping all my stuff and Ed's on the floor, almost sprinting towards him, nearly leaping at him with a hug. I don't... I don't think. I just act out of instinct, and right now it's telling me to hug my old friend. Gus? I can't believe it. How did you know we were here? Are you okay? I'm sorry we left you and lost contact. How are your parents? Uh, I, I can't believe it's you. I feel tears running down my face, uh, but I'm not the only one. Uh, Gus's tears are dripping onto the top of my head. A soft, slow, hearty song starts playing in my head, and nearly blocked out by all the emotions I'm feeling. This is incredible. I thought I would never hear this, ag uh, hear this again. I thought I could, um... I thought I would never see him again. Oh god, there are so many characters. God, what do I even, like, use for him? I don't... I don't know. We'll have to feel it out over several episodes, guys. <clears throat> uh, hey, hey guys, it's uh, it's okay, bud. I've missed you too. Uh, missed both of you so much. I can't help but cry. <laughs> what a loser. I really never thought I'd be here again, and seeing Gus just improves this. I'm honestly at a loss for words until I feel Ed join in the hug. Oh, that's cute. Uh, you two aren't forgetting me, did you? Never would. Sorry for the waterworks. It's just, I've missed you two so much. But for now, who are your friends? I pull away from him, wiping my eyes and nose, uh, looking at the other three uh, standing there, looking incredibly confused, uh, chuckling at the look on their faces. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, from left to right, there's Mike, Hector, and Faust. Uh, guys, uh, this is Gus. Oh, uh, so you're Gus. Robert and Ed uh, talked about you a few times, so it's nice to meet you. We'll probably get along well. Uh, hello, I'm Faust. 
I imagine you three are close friends, uh, especially after that hug. Uh, yeah, it's been a while, but yeah. <clears throat> We've been friends for more than 10 years. Glad that we're still friends, even if we've all grown up a lot. A Faust nudges Hector in the arm, causing him to stumble a bit, and then look at the ground. Um, my name is Hector. It's not- I'm not good with people in general, so if you pretend I don't exist, uh, that's fine too. Ahem. A Hector sighs, uh, taking a deep breath and uh, looking directly at Gus. I mean, it is a pleasure to meet you. Thank you for coming to meet my f uh, very good friends. Uh, there. Uh, satisfied, Mom? Very. I can't help but laugh and, at the same time, be slightly disappointed that this is the way Gus meets my closest friends. But thinking about it, a month ago we couldn't even get Hector to talk to new people. It took him a week for him to talk to me. Uh, sorry, uh, we've been, um, uh, uh, we've uh, grown a, to be a bit of a crazy bunch. Wait, Gus, how did you know we would be here? Uh, wait, you mean Ed didn't say anything? I turn to Ed, who looks a tad bit embarrassed while also slowly backtracking from Gus. Does this mean he knew all this time? You son of a... I can't believe you didn't tell me. And I can't believe you did this. I really want to punch and hug you so much right now. So I'm going to do both. I pull Ed into a tight hug uh, that he can't escape. Despite being pissed at him right now, I love the guy for doing this. Okay, uh, Rob, you can drop me now, please. Alright, but I'm punching you once, uh, once I stop hugging you. I'm, uh, I'm having a really hard time deciding which is the worst right now. Okay, kids, uh, would you stop fighting? Because uh, you're causing a scene, and I really want to get to the new house. I let the, I let the comment uh, about us making a scene go, go, since he's usually the one causing them. But I can see uh, Mike's tail wagging back and forth, almost like a canine would do. As I let go, the sudden sound of a thud is heard across the station, my fists are reaching his shoulder at a, uh, <laughs> at a uh, moderate speed. Not too strong, but enough to make noise, uh, followed by a uh, small squeak from Ed's, uh, from Ed's part. Uh, we laugh it off before reaching for our bags. Gus is already carrying a couple of hours, which means I have, I have only to... I only have to deal with mine, and probably one of Ed's. <clears throat> uh, Gus uh, turns around to talk to me with, uh, as we start walking. Uh, your friends seem fun. I uh, should have guessed you uh, they would have been as crazy as you two. Oh, uh, they're not that bad. Uh, Faust keeps us in check, or at the very least tries to with Mike. The Hector is as harmless as a fly. As long as we're not talking about movies. Uh, he likes horror just a bit too much. <laughs> well, I, uh, I'm sure I'll get along with him. But aside from that, uh, let me welcome you to back to core. Uh, crazy to be back, huh? Like you wouldn't believe. <clears throat> uh, like you wouldn't believe. I didn't re- I, yeah, I didn't realize how much I missed the ocean view. Maybe Faust will even show us uh, some of his photography skills. Oh, he likes photography? Uh, I think we, ha uh, we have a new camera no one uses if he wants it. <laughs> well, uh, maybe there, uh, maybe that's something you two could talk about. That's a great idea. I'm pretty sure you two will get along great. Okay. I think I'll actually just end the part here. So I will uh, see you around, everyone. <laughs>